Hey everyone, this is Makeup by Luscious, and if you guys want me to do a video on how I did my brows like this, or how I normally do my brows, I will post a picture in the end of this video, or maybe in the beginning, depends, but I will post a video of how, my, how I usually do my brows in the normal color, and how I did them in this color. If you want a video on how I did it in this color, please comment down below, and if you want a color on how I do it normally comment down below also for that one but let me know what video you guys would like next this is the look that i did um i hope you guys really like this look and please make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the video hey everyone it's makeup by lashes this is the 130 professional beauty treats palette and i really love this palette i'll list down below the, the list of things i'm using in this video and I'm going to be doing a makeup look copying what shirt I'm wearing. As you can see, there's a lot of colors on my shirt. So I'm going to be wearing those type of colors in my makeup look. I'm doing a double cut crease makeup look. And I hope you guys enjoy this look and tutorial. So my voice will be getting annoying. I know it probably sounds shitty right now. But the first color I'm using is like an orangish tone if you guys can't tell. Um, but yeah, it's like this orangish tone I'm using, the one I'm pointing at and just tapping my finger on. So, I had to be careful because the palette inside, the colors were coming out, so I had to be careful and I had to place my mirror in the way. But right now we're applying that in our cut crease area, where we're going to be just keep packing it on until we get the desired pigmented we want but later on in the video you guys will see I changed the color that I put in my cut crease I changed it to a darker red because I forgot I was wearing red and not orange so I just put red on top of that color it's, it's an easy fix you know but you'll see later on in the video and right here I'm just packing on that orange tone in my cut crease and then you'll see me pause the video from time to time because I want it to to edit the video way easier I'm going to be doing that in all my tutorials sorry if you guys can't see very well but hopefully you guys can see okay my lighting's really light really really light so I'm really sorry for that Here I just keep packing the color on and as usual, if you want it to be pigmented, you have to keep packing the color on until you get the desired look you want. So that's what I'm doing here, but like I said, I change it to a red tone, a really, really dark red, so I don't really pack on as much depending on if the color is really light or if it's really dark, then that's how much you're going to pack on. Now, as you can see, I'm going to go in with this mint kind of color you guys can tell it looks white but it's really a mint kind of type of white but I'm gonna apply that as my highlight under my brows yes my brows are pink I'm trying something different so it can match my hair so please don't judge and what my eyebrows look like right now they look really really okay to me um, but anyways yeah I'm just highlighting under my brows as you can see Excuse me, sorry, I had a burp. Um, but as you can see, I'm just packing on that white mint color and it's just highlighting under my brows. Like, if you guys want, you guys could put that and then apply the highlight, like the highlighter under it, and it'll come out way popping. But this I just usually did because I wanted like a matte look since my lips are gonna be more lip gloss look. But you'll see me just highlighting under there. Please excuse the noise in the background. It's my boyfriend. You guys met him. It's the same one. He's playing GTA 5 on PS4. So if you guys want his username, let me know. But here's that red that I'm going to be going with. It's like a shimmery red. It has like shimmer in it. But as you can see, I'm going on with that red. Um, and I just blew off the excess. And it's really, really dark, as you can see, because when I first packed it on, you guys could straight see how dark it is. That's why I'm saying this palette would be your favorite palette. It's cheap, trust me, it's really cheap. It's affordable, and I'll post the link, like I said, down below. But here, we're just packing it on the cut crease. We're not trying to get it on our eyelid. 
I'm sorry if I talk and go off topic. I, that's just how I am in the videos. And sorry if you, if I should work on it. Let me know. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Like I said. But here we're just packing that color on in our cut crease, and it should be already a dark color because we put orange, and now we're putting red. So it should be coming 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 out <laughs> really well. Um, but. I'm sorry that I kind of messed up later on in the video when I was cleaning up my concealer my, which was going to be on my eyelid to clean up the line. Um, I kind of messed up so it went a little higher than the other one as you guys can see in the pictures it's not really hard to tell but it kind of is hard to tell but if you really really notice it it's not that hard. Here I'm going in with my LA Colors, I mean my LA, I think it's, oh no it's LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Porcelain, in the shade Porcelain. Um, I'm just packing that on my eyelids to clean it up a lot of what I messed up. So yeah, I'm correct, it's LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. So I, like I said, I'll post everything down below. Um, but here I'm just packing this on my eyelid. As you can see, I like to go very, very high with my concealer because I want it to be very, very noticeable of where my cut crease is at. So hopefully, it's up to you guys at the end of the day if you guys really like it lower, if you guys like it higher. You know, you guys can copy this look and make sure to tag me in it. I'll leave my Instagram and everything down below. But, um make sure you guys it depends on what you guys like if you guys want your cut crease to be not too high like mine then that's fine you know as long as you guys recreate this look I'll, I'll be even happier but that's my flat brush it's like it's not angled but it's like really flat and straight so um i'm going in and cleaning it up with that as you can see And I kind of did go a little too low because when red, red's a really hard color to get off to be honest. And so is pink and black and purple. Any dark color is really hard to get off after you wash your face because it's still there. But I mean, I kind of went too high. I mean, too much with the concealer. I went too much with it. It literally went all over the powder, and you guys can't tell in the picture, but you can still see in person where the line is where I clean it up later on in the video. And sorry, I was getting some in my eye of the concealer, because I guess I got the concealer on my eyelashes, and then it went to my lower lashes, and then it went in my eye. Sorry, my nose was itchy. <laughs> but, um, here I am just cleaning up that what I need to clean up on my eyelid to make this cut crease more poppin um, but hopefully it's going well Here I'm going in with the shimmery MAC loose, it's not glitter but it's like a shimmery powder um, but I'm going in with the shimmery powder by MAC, like I said I'll list everything down below, sorry if I keep repeating myself I just want to make sure you guys are listening, um, but I'm just packing this on my corner tear dunk and on my eyelid everywhere where I put the concealer so that way it doesn't smudge or nothing. So hopefully, you guys, I don't know, I guess it's just me, I don't know if you guys put primer and then like, I don't know, but here we go, I'm just packing it on my eyelid, on top of that concealer, but that's where I messed up at, the 
like I said, I packed too much of the the loose shimmer or the concealer. I packed too much of it when I was doing that, and it went on top more it's supposed to go. As you can see, it's a little crooked. It's not straight right there, but it's okay. You know, I'm not going out anywhere, so it's fine the way it was. I just left it that way. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm just packing this everywhere on my eyelid. And I'm packing it all the way to where the ending of the wing is at. Now I'm going back in my palette and I'm getting that light pink under the dark pink I got before from my cut crease. I'm just packing that on my eyelid. I don't want to bring it all the way on top of my eyelid to the middle or the bottom of my cut crease if that makes any sense. I want to pack it to leave a line in the middle so that way it leaves a little nice. You have three line wings if that makes sense. But I'm just packing that on my eyelid, not going too high, just to on top of my eyelid, not to the middle, just lower than the middle. And it's the same thing I'm going to do with the blue and the gray. Since I'm, I'm just copying the colors that are on my shirt slash corset, or you can say, but I'm just packing it on as I go. Hey everyone, now I'm gonna go back in and I'm starting trying to think. I'm going in with that light blue and that dark blue to mix to, bl to the same color of my shirt. Like I said, since you see all that blue, I'm gonna apply that blue. I was really feeling this blue. That blue came out really pigmented than I thought it would come out. And I'm just packing it right there. Like I said, not too high. I just want it to be into a correct way where the line will still be showing but then I did end up going a little too high but the line still ended up showing so I go back later on with the same brush I used for the the loose eyeshadow that I got from MAC I just clean it up and it's still good so like I said I'm just packing that on right there Now I'm going to go in with that grayish, you can tell, it's a little gray. And then I went in with some other gray that was all the way to the other side, but it was like a dark shimmery gray. But I didn't show it, I did it off cam by, I didn't do it off cam, but I mean, I did it without showing you guys by accident, because I, I just was too lazy to show. But I'll list down below what colors I used and everything for you guys. 
so you guys don't get confused because all these colors look the same to me when it's oranges a line or shade full of oranges i do not know you know so <laughs> if that makes sense i guess does it no okay um but um just getting um i'm just trying to do a line wing but at the same time leaving the middle like i said Sorry, it went silent, but that's where I'm going in with that brush and just cleaning up or trying to do the wing. Here I'm going in with my La Femme Hollywood Banana Powder and this stuff is great you guys it was only 5 something or for something from the swap meet and it was really cheap and this stuff works like it's expensive like I really love this it leaves my face really nice a nice touch and everything in photos like when you do flash you can't even tell that the powder is that bad it can't even tell that I'm wearing any powder it looks like my real skin like it's really nice but I'm just packing that on because I know on the previous video I cleaned up my area of my line to make it more sharper but like i said when i put that oh no i'm doing it right now sorry but like like i said i'm cleaning up that line to make it more cleaner and i accidentally shouldn't have done that um i should have done that way before i did my whole face because it ended up leaving that line there you guys can't tell in the picture like i said but it ended up leaving that line and it ended up being like a red line and i had to clean it up and Put powder on top of it and it was just a disaster but as long as you guys can't tell in pictures that's good for me so <clears throat> you do mistakes you lose mistakes you get mistakes so um here I'm, as you can see i'm just packing that powder on to try to get it to go away but it didn't go away but you could hardly tell unless you were in person and really going up into your face then you could really really tell but since you can't really tell that much, then it was fine. Here, I'm going in with my liquid liner, and I'll name that liquid liner mascara, because I have the matching set thanks to my best friend, Ali, giving me that for Christmas. This eyeliner is really dark, it's popping, it's better than my other eyeliners I got from the 99. So, sorry, I'm trying to find the right lighting, but here I'm just trying to find the right lighting for you guys. So you guys can see, but apparently you guys couldn't really see well. So I ended up having to like move places in order to get you guys to see very well. Right here I'm just trying to do my little wing. I don't want to go too high with this because I want the blue and the pink and the gray to show. So I went and just did a really thin line than what I'm used to. 
but it did come out great so oh and I did my lashes later on in the video I did my lashes off camera because um, I didn't have the right lashes in the right case I got them from the 99 and I just put two together it shouldn't matter what lashes you use as long as they still pop in with your makeup girl so right here I'm just doing my little wing line and yeah Like I said, I did my eyelashes off camera. This is the mascara that matches the liner I used. Um, it's the set, and it, it's amazing. This eyeliner, I only use it for my top lashes to make them black and dark because this eyelash mascara is really popping. But <coughs> I, didn't, I used a different mascara for my bottom lashes because this one was a little didn't give me enough of that thickness on my bottom lashes that I wanted so I used a different mascara which is I'll show you later on in the video it's a black one and it's by I think physicians but if not if I'm not correct I'll just post everything down below like I said but that'll be later on in the video when the video is uploaded uploaded I mean I'm just wiping off that excess that I wiped off my dust from my powder here I'm just trying to I didn't end up using that pro profusion contour kit sorry I, was, I don't know what I was thinking I wasn't paying attention but this is the profusion face and I'm going to be using the blush I'm getting my big fat blush brush <laughs> blush brush blush brush big fat blush brush Okay, well, I'm gonna go in with that orangish tone. I really love this palette. My Thea Sandy gave it to me, so shout out to my Thea Sandy. Thank you for giving it to me. I really love it, and I'm just putting this on my cheeks, as you can see, and I really love it. I mean, the blush is really nice, and of course, I love my pink, so you could tell by my hair, and later on, I'll post a video of my extensions or something. So, yeah, I'm trying to wipe off my contour on my nose because it came out too dark at the top, but I just left it alone, so. So I'm trying to dry my face or my eyeliner. <laughs> I'm going to go in with that mascara that I'm using, that one, the Profusion, I think it's called. Um, but that's the one for my bottom lashes. It gives it a really thickness that I really love for my bottom lashes when I want them to show really, really a lot. So... Yeah, sorry, I'm a little tired. Um, 
plate, yeah, I'm just putting that on my bottom lashes, and then later on, I put a mole, like a fake mole, on the bottom by my makeup, so.